Most people in Beijing would like to visit a lot of Western European countries, and it's always been our focus that Nordic countries would be the next tourist destination. Traditionally, Chinese people have sought out Western European culture, but nowadays the Nordic countries have more and more appeal. According to tourism statistics, the number of Europeans flocking to Beijing each year is about 1.4 million, but if I'm looking at the past few years' growth, it's not doing so well. For sure there are some reasons, one of them could be the bad air quality in Beijing. However, we've already changed a lot, and the government has done many things in order to improve it. For example, we've already reached European standards with regards to car emissions and switched much of our coal burning to natural gases. In order to provide better service, we try to actually start from the perspective of how Europeans would like to enjoy life, how they would like to enjoy their culture in China. We want to provide a feeling that it is not only what we think is good for the Europeans and what they will like, but what they really like themselves, and then they will feel comfortable as well. We do have a lot of World Heritage sites, however nowadays we do not only pay attention to the architecture and the decoration, we also would like to add more elements related to the culture, for example Chinese traditional medicine. In addition, we have over 170 museums in Beijing, so we would like to meet the needs and requirements of all European tourists. We have many policies aimed at facilitating tourism. Now it's possible to stay in Beijing for 144 hours without a visa, as opposed to just 72 hours as it was before. In fact, the 72-hour visa-free policy was so successful, the government agreed to double it. This provides a very convenient service for tourists. In addition to this, we also have tax refunds at the airport. We haven't quite met EU standards yet, but we are very close and we're still working on it.